This Christmas we don't have gatherings or parties, but our families are safe and we have food on our table. We pray for the health of our frontline workers and the patients that they're treating right now. And with that, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year full of opportunities and adventures. This Christmas will be very different as we are forced to stay at home. We pray for the church's congregation. Have a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. This year we can't spend as much time with each other, but we have more time with Christ. We pray for all of the frontline workers and everyone else who is struggling against the virus in their own way. I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas, everyone, and Happy New Year. God, <laughs> God, 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 bless, bless you. you. Amen. <laughs> this Christmas, we may not be able to see everyone as usual, but it gives us the opportunity to spend more time with our family and focus on the true meaning of Christmas. It's the time of giving and to take the example of God's generosity and love for us. We pray for the health of everyone and that may we use this Christmas season to serve and love others. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, everyone. Merry Christmas, everyone, and a Happy New Year. Hello, everybody. Um, we may not be in each other's presence this Christmas, but we should still be in each other's hearts and minds. Uh, we pray that this pandemic gets resolved as quickly as possible that those who may not have a place to go home to this Christmas are protected by the Lord. I hope you and your families are enjoying your Christmas. Stay safe, have a Merry Christmas, and a very prosperous New Year. This Christmas, we won't be able to celebrate the birth of Jesus with our family, friends, and the rest of the congregation at church. But we can take this time to reflect and to think about all of the blessings that we've received during this year and even the bad days with the valuable lessons. Most importantly, we have to cherish this time that God gave us to enjoy with our family and to really be there in the moment. May God bless us all and take care of all of us and have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hi guys, we miss you so much. I know this Christmas that we're not together, the doors of the churches are closed, but we are waiting for Jesus to come and bless our homes, our hearts and our lives. Uh, we pray for the peace of the whole world and we pray for us to keep us strong in our faith and we wish you a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year! 2020 has been a difficult and scary year for sure. Um, I think in it we received a clear vision or clarity of vision and I, I think there are two points that I think are probably most people would agree with is one we we see now what the things we've taken for for granted are um, like family and friends our gatherings at church for liturgy easter christmas new years um, we've taken those for granted so the second thing i think we've taken for granted is um, family and friends um, you know and being in the presence of family and friends as opposed to like just being on our phones and uh, you know, being distracted and not being present. Uh, so we pray um, for anyone who's lost someone they love. Um, there's many people who have. Um, we pray for anyone who's alone or is afraid. Um, we pray for the presence of God in the new year with us uh, so that we can have courage and strength to face uh, the uncertainty and the unknown of tomorrow. Um, wanted to wish you a, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and hopefully we'll see you in person very soon. Hey everybody! I know Christmas this year is a bit different but because 
Jesus Christ loves us. We're all still here and we're all celebrating and I miss you guys so, so much, but I'm sure that we're all gonna, you know, meet up and see each other again soon. And for that, I am excited. I'm thankful overall and I want to wish you guys a very Merry Christmas.